exciting affair. And along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski, set to bring you all the commentary here on EA Sports. And here on this St. Patrick's Day, I say to my broadcast partner, top of the morning to you. How's that for an Irish accent? Is that what that was? That was an attempt. Yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I think everybody enjoys the day. Everybody enjoys the energy. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Chilia Binks in now. Kraftsoff's going to play it against the half wall. And there's another stop. Quick reflexes give him the opportunity to make back-to-back -back stops. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kravstov. Here's a shot. Tremendous stop by Dansk. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Moves right to the middle. Goalie with a stop. Really like his positioning here as he's able to get the glove up there to make the save. But it doesn't have to be a spectacular, crazy save because he's in a good spot. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Puts it on net. Oh, what a stop! Maintains possession. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. James, he's only one goal away from... Scores! Oh, what a shot on the one-timer to put it home! Feels like forever, James, since he gave up a goal. The streak is over. He has had an outstanding run. Moscow's got the position that every coach loves, the lead. Then you can use your bench, then you can use all of the combinations you might think will work for you. You've got a little bit of a cushion with a one goal lead. Sends a pass over. Handles the puck. Sends the pass over. And that one's turned away. Moves the puck across to Sedlak. Hammers it on net. Oh, what a great save by Tansk. Slides the puck down low. Saucer pass across. Denied by the goaltender. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Chilia Bing's got it, and they're on the attack. We've got the puck now. We've got a tired defensive group to play against. Takes control of the puck. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Tansk. Across the point. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Slotted aside by the blocker. Oh, another consecutive stop. And now he tries Whoa. to get it across to Kravstov. Uh, sorry about your toes, James, that I just jumped on. That was a huge hit. Stopped by the goaltender. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. He ran right through him on that hit. Lined him up, timed it perfectly. Here's a shot! And the puck dies with the trapper save. Kravtsov's made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Pedersen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Looks to set up at the point now. Turns it away on the slap shot. Let's it fly. Right in the low slot. Sensational stop by Dansk. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Can't get it to go. Puts it on net. Turned aside with the glove. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. 
Hey, getting another look at that one, James, right here. Look at that save. Just a piece, just enough to keep it out of the net. Moves inside! And that's broken up. Yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. Takes the pass. Pass to Boykin. Moscow's got the puck along the wall. Right in front of the net. He scores! One timer and a beaut. The good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Moscow's offense delivers yet again. They now have a two-goal lead. They have dominated in this. They really have, and the key for them is not to look at the clock, but to keep playing the same way. They've done a really nice job dominating the majority of possession. William Inks got the puck against the boards. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender! And there's the save. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Quick pass to Molset. And they won't connect on that one. And makes the routine save. That's school tending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Here we go, a big third period set to go. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. Moscow's won the draw. Handles the puck. Chase right in front. Stopped by the goaltender, he got a little piece of that one. There's a hit on the play. Grabs it with the glove. Dink's gonna hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. As we see in the replay, the breakdown leads to this man advantage break. They execute it well, but the goalie stands the ground to make the save. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. And it's a 2-0 hockey game. Stop some cold! Dink's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. Sedlak's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. And there's a great save by Dinsk. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Play comes to a stop, and let's see what the call is. Well, that escalated quickly. Whoops. He's getting thrown from the game here. Game misconduct is the call. Yeah, he's going to feel pretty embarrassed as he's got to walk by his teammates. He's done wow. for tonight. This team is aware that their penalty kill is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. And, you know, with the confidence that they showcase, they might be able to turn this thing around and shut down this power play right now. Possession along the wall. Moscow's grabbed a hold of the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. And he puts that one aside with ease. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through him. Here's a shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. He was locked in there. Excellent chance. They worked the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Oh, you can see the shooter. He looked straight up to the sky. He thought that was past the goalie, but the tender made enough of a save to keep the puck out of the net. Shelia Biggs won the faceoff deep in their own end. He's got a step. Oh, what a stop on the one-on-one. -on -one. What a 
great play to get in on the goaltender all by himself, but turned away with an excellent save. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Oh, it stops him again. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Slides the pass over to Laterra. Move to the middle. Club saved by the goalie. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Once he winds up, the goalie can move into position and set. He slaps it, but he turns it away. Tries to get the puck to Lottiano. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Kulikov's able to get everything behind this hit. He really lays one on here. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Spartans are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. It hasn't been boring. I mean, it's low scoring, but man, there's been a lot of chances at both ends of the ice. We've seen missed chances combined with great goaltending, and that gives you a low scoring game. Gets a glove on it to make the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Novo Seabursk's up next on the calendar. Do players ever look ahead to games? I, I think so. I mean, in particular, when there's one that stands out, it's a ex-Stanley Cup champion or the team you sure. used to play against. Those ones always carry a little more pop. Slides the puck across to Maltsev. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Sends it out right in front. And they can't convert to the play. Whoa, James, I'll tell you, I was on the receiving end of those, not on the giving end. Those hurt. Here in the late goings of the period, 2-0 is the score. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Stones him in front. Good save. Positional save through traffic. From the left side, takes it at center. And that one stopped. Dinks on top of that one for a whistle. Little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Goalies work on this all the time. We get a look in the highlight how they angle the puck off the blocker away from the net. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And we'll get a face off while one lucky fan gets a souvenir. And serves up a little knock on the play. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Moscow's got it into the offensive zone. And there's the insurance marker much needed for them on this night. It's amazing how many times a guy misses an empty net. But this one he puts between the pipes. Well, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Spartans just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Takes the feed. And he comes up with it. Tractor is going to play it from the corner. Cutting to the front of the net. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Again, the first goal is in. He gets a hold of his own rebound and makes it count the second time. I never was a goalie, but I know when I sat on the bench and it got late, you start thinking about the shutout. The goalie's got to be thinking about it. So late in the third period, and this shutout bid is gone. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. Slides the puck over. That pass goes a little sideways. 
A shot at the empty net. It scores! And the freshman continues to impress. What a great start to the year. That's his 10th goal already. They'd really have to screw this up now, James, to lose. The empty netter should put it away. Face off here at center ice, double digits as a rookie. Can't go wrong with that. No, the team is really happy with the production. He's got 10 goals already. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. Shalia Bing's coaching staff has a lot to work with, I guess, for practice tomorrow based on tonight. Uh, that video session's not gonna be very good. I know the empty net goals changed the final score, but they weren't a very good hockey team tonight. I guess there's a lot of different organizations that can take credit for how this grassroots movement started, but I love the post-game tip of the cap here. Well, I think any team that doesn't do it now would look like they're missing the boat. That'll do it for our special St. Patrick's Day broadcast for all of us. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Take care.